What's up everyone, welcome to another video. Today we are talking about fasted cardio, which is one of the most sort of biggest hyped things in the fitness industry, massive trend, and a lot of confusion arises around it, thinking that it's some magic form of helping speed up the process of fat loss. Today I'm gonna to be telling you what the science says and whether you should actually be utilizing it. First of all, like the video, subscribe for more content, follow me on Instagram, link in description, and let's get into the video. So why does this confusion arise in the first place? Well, I think this is because people assume that the act of doing fasted cardio in the morning burns more fat and this is gonna then accelerate the process of fat loss, but this doesn't take into consideration how we actually burn fat. So does performing fasted cardio actually burn more fat? Well, technically, yes through the process of fat oxidation, which is a fancy way of saying fat burning, when we do not have carbohydrates in our system, i.e. If, if you've fasted overnight and let's say your last meal was 7, 8 p.m., something like that, and you fasted overnight and you're performing cardio first thing in the morning, because there's no carbohydrate source to use as fuel, your body will likely turn to fat storage to then burn through fat oxidation. So it requires some form of fuel to perform this cardio and Vieira et al in 2016 did prove that fat oxidation is increased if you are performing cardio fasted. Now, the problem with this is, that leads to the confusion, is that fat loss is 100% dependent on whether you are in a calorie deficit or not. So even if you perform cardio first thing in the morning when you're fasted, if at the end of each day over, you know, consistently over a period of number of weeks and months, if you are not in a calorie deficit, i.e. you are burning more calories than you consume based on your activity levels and other factors, then you're never gonna lose any fat. So if you need to be in a calorie deficit at the end of each day in order to burn fat. So people can get misled by thinking that if I do my cardio first thing in the morning, I'm doing some magic fat burning and I've sped up the process so I don't really need to worry or track what I'm eating and, and you know, it's gonna, it's gonna give me rapid results, which is definitely not the case. So the key thing here to, is that Although, yes, your body will burn fat as fuel during fasted cardio, it's only short-term fat oxidation at that point in the day. So that hour that you're performing fasted cardio, yes, your body is gonna burn fat for fuel. But then when you then eat after your workout later in the morning or lunchtime, your body's then gonna be back in a fed state. So your body's constantly gonna be going, when it's absorbing food and digesting food, it's gonna go between fed and fasted during the day. And then over the course of the day, fat loss is gonna be dependent on whether you are in a negative energy balance, i.e. calorie deficit. That is the key point here. So what does the, the science say? So first of all, a study by Schoenfeld et al. in 2014, which involved 20 young fem healthy females, 10 were assigned to a fed group, which had a 250 calorie shake before training, and 10 were assigned to a fasted group who obviously did not consume any calories before training. Now they did three steady state cardio, so lighter intensity cardio sessions per week over a period of four weeks. Both groups were in a 500 calorie deficit for the four week period. And after the four weeks, comparing the two groups, they found and concluded that there were no significant differences in body composition associated with the fasted group versus the fed group. They therefore concluded that the differences were insignificant and performing aerobic exercise fed or fasted is not gonna make a massive difference either way. And as long as you're adhering to a calorie deficit, you are going to lose weight and therefore some fat. A similar study by Gillen and Percival et al. in 2013 found the same results. Three HIIT workouts per week over a period of six weeks for obese women, they found that there was no significant differences between the fed and the fasted groups. 
Furthermore, in a 2017 meta-analysis done by Hackett and Hankstrom, that is difficult to say, on a total of five studies and 96 participants found similar results. They found that there were minimal changes in body mass and body composition between the fed and fasted groups in all of these five studies they looked at. So from this, we can deduce that there is not gonna be a massive difference. And this is one very key point that is often overlooked with any of this. People in the fitness industry are quick to shove their own beliefs and anything that's worked for them. They'll assume that it'll be the same for everyone else, even though, you know, ever, everyone is individual and th people respond to things differently. For one person doing cardio first thing in the morning makes complete sense with their routine, with their work, with their life balance. Some people just prefer to get up and go, not worry about eating before training and just get it done. And for, the, for people like that, then this is gonna perfectly suit doing cardio first thing in the morning. However, some people are not early birds and maybe they prefer to eat and let their food digest before they go and attack a session. Whether you do that hit workout, that run, or any form of cardio, if you do that in the afternoon when you're fed or you do that first thing in the morning, that comes down to personal preference. And personal preference, unbelievably, is one of the most overlooked areas in all of fitness. People want to sell you programs or want to sell you something that has worked for them and will market a one size fits all approach which just doesn't it shouldn't be the case so personal preference really needs to be the key consideration here if you are someone who likes to get up and go who is an early riser and would happily just get up and get your workout done and you feel like you're gonna you're gonna be more well set up for the day for me personally i like going to the gym first in the morning if i feel like it does set me up for the day really well I just feel great when I've done it and I've already ticked it off. And the benefit of doing exercise first thing in the morning is, it's, well, it's gonna give you the boost and a bit more mental clarity in the morning, in my opinion. If you leave it till the evening, it's easy to put off. And, you know, maybe you've got plans with friends or family in the evening, so it frees up time later in the day. So it's quite an efficient way of doing it, but it's not for everyone. So key takeaways. So if you are someone that is an early bird or likes training in the morning, you do that. If you are someone who prefers to train in the evening or lunchtime, then do that. Whatever route that you take, you're gonna get this very, very similar results if you adhere to the same diet. So ensure if you are looking for fat loss that you're in a calorie deficit, as we already know, and once you are setting up your day to achieve that calorie deficit at the end of each day, it's gonna make very little difference if you are training fasted or fed. Make the decision based on your routine, what suits you best, and go from there. I really hope you enjoyed today's video and you took something from it. If you found the video useful, please like the video, subscribe for more content, follow me on Instagram, catch you guys on the next one. Have a great day. See you later. Bye.